Hi, my name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how you can create such seamless texture for your games or some similar designs and it's totally seamless and we're going to be using 3ds Max, ZBrush and Photoshop so let's get started so now we are in 3ds Max and we're going to go to perspective view turn on shade it and under configure viewports we're going to tick off selection brackets and tick on display selected with edge faces and we're going to go under customize unit setup make sure you have generic units turned on and right click on snap toggle and go to home grid and type in 16 by 8 by 8 and under snaps make sure you have grid points turned on then turn on snap toggle and go to create and plane and because we have a grid snap on the tool on uh, we just created this plane easily and just make sure you have one by one segment and going to the top view now we're going to use this base mesh base plane for creating the texture so we're going to go to back and to box and we're going to make sure we uh, we s we cover these corners first so we're going to create something like this 3 by 3 and then just push out push up uh, until you have height 16 make sure you have snap toggle turned on and now we're going to w to move it and we have to move a uh, pivot so we can more easily align the newly created box to the rest of the grid so we're going to hold shift and click and drag and make sure that you align it uh, so that the squares that are looking over the plane are on the opposite side on the plane and the same here two are looking over, two should be uh, on the plane holding shift and click and drag and do the same for the fourth corner and now we are going to create some additional uh, additional boxes that represent the edges that uh, are gotten well are going to be covered separately and now we have to again um, move them holding shift and making sure well we're not going to do this for like that we have to first affect pivot and reposition the pivot so we can snap exactly to the point that we want here we can uh, do it without moving the pivot point and here also and here we will have to realign the pivot again so just holding shift and click and drag and making sure you have two squares on the plane because two squares are looking over so now going back to create we just fill out fill up the rest of the plane let me just use some different color so we can see what we are doing and just make sure you create boxes that are not going to be the same width and length and that you uh, make uh, diverse uh, like horizontal and vertical uh, objects so it doesn't get too uh, similar all over the place so this is pretty tedious job but because we have uh, snap to grid turned on it's much faster than it would be if we would uh, want to create this by hand so just fill out the rest of the grid with new shapes so 
check them out they're okay now just right click on one of them and convert it to edit poly and attach list and attached everything but the plane okay this looks okay going to the front view uh, vertex selection select the top vertices holding control and click on polygon to make this selection and holding alt and deselect everything but the top polygons and then holding control and clicking on edge we get this selection although we have only one uh, one 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 object with multiple elements we, with this technique we can select all edges of different elements in this object so now under edges we're going to hold shift and chamfer one one okay and then go back to attach list and attach the plane and we are done in 3ds max you can go to uh, zbrush but first you should go up here and export it and export it as obj or you can use GoZ and GoZBrush and you will be directly uh, put into ZBrush.